Okay, folks, this is a, a video for a dead set repair on a Samsung UN49MU6290F. It's a newer Samsung 4K. It may be a 4K uh, smart TV. Uh, it does not power on. This TV uh, has four screws that holds the, the uh, stand the base on. And once you remove those four screws, then what I use was a couple of prying tools. I use a couple of prying tools and I started in the left corner right here and I just popped it, you know, popped it free all the way around. And, and the whole back cover just snaps off again. We're using, we're working on a Samsung Smart TV UN49MU629U90F. It has a, no power, doesn't even come on, no, no nothing. So there's an easy way to troubleshoot this TV. Um, first we want to uh, plug it up and see if we can power it on ourselves. It has a power button in the back back here. So I'm gonna plug it up. And I'm gonna stand it up. And I'm gonna hit the power button. And nothing. So you can see, the power button is here. Hit the power button. Back lights, nothing come on. You'll be able to see the back lights through the holes on the back of the TV. So, let me lay it back down. We will check for some voltages. So the first thing I do is get my trusty fluke meter and connect to the chassis ground. And I will try to face the meter so that you can see it also. And it shows that it should have a 13 volts at pin three, five, seven, and nine. Uh, it has an on and off. It has a post width modulator for the backlight. It has a power on, two grounds, and a dim. Okay. And according to this, three, five, seven, and nine should have 13 volts. So pin one is here. So the next pin is three. The next pin is five. And it does have a voltage there. Let me cut on my light. The voltage is reading 9 volts. And it should be 13 volts. Pin 3 is reading 9 volts. Pin 7 is reading 9 volts. And so is pin 5. They all should be 13 volts. So to me it seems like something's pulling down my 13 volt supply. And that one is reading 9 volts. Hopefully you can see. It should be 13. They're all reading 9 volts. So this TV here, you can pretty much isolate whether it's the main board or the power supply board that's causing the problem. If it's the power supply board, uh, we can repair the 13 volt supply. Uh, it's probably just a voltage regulator. If it's the main board, we have to replace the main board because there's something on the main board loading down the power supply. So the quick way to check this out is we will disconnect the cable here from the main board. And if our 13 volts come back up, then we found the problem that it's it's the main board that's pulling down to 13 volts. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the power. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect the, the connection to the main board. And we have a call, of course. So now I'm going to plug the power back in, and voila, look at there, we have backlight. We have backlight. So this is a good way to test for backlights also, if the backlights aren't coming on. As you can see, there's backlight shining through. So what I need to do now is go back and check those 13, that 13 volt points, 
and see what we have. So I go back to pin three. Look at that. We have 12.9, which is essentially 13 volts. We have 12.88, 12.88. So we have our 13 volts now. So that lets me know that the power supply board is okay and that there's something on the main board drawing down our power supply or the TCON connection, which this one doesn't have a TCON board, it just goes right into the panel, could also be drawing down our, our, our 13 volts. But more than likely it's the main board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and see if all the voltages are present. So I'm gonna go to this pin right here, and it's at ground. The next one should be at ground. The next one should is five volts. That's power on pin. The next one is the backlight. Post width modulated voltage is 3.1 volts. The next pin is 3.6 volts. That is the on and off display on and off and the next one is the dimming circuit and that's 3.2 volts so those voltages are proper if i check the back the back uh first pin is at ground which it should be the next pin is 12 13 volts 12.9 12.9 these were the voltages that was uh that was loaded down so and the last pin is 0.7 volts so those voltages are proper. So we've we've found our problem. The problem is the main is the main board, and we will order a new main board and have it replaced. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon. Like and subscribe.